happen firsthand, and that's where this is going. It's socialized medicine where the government controls it. I don't want the insurance companies between me and my doctor, and that means I also don't want any of that just massive amount of government between me and my doctor, but that's where this takes us. And, and you wonder why would, would a group risk losing the majority in Congress to pass a bill like this when they know what's at stake politically? And the answer is it puts in place so much government that once it's in place, it won't matter which party is in the majority. It, it's kind of like Department of Education or other things that are not enumerated powers in the Constitution. Once it's there, you can't do anything about it. The school districts lose billions of dollars over the years that have been usurped by just a bureaucracy in Washington. It's going to happen with health care. And just quickly, let me tell you, what inspired me to get with professionals, uh, health care professionals, economists to come up with a solution was when I saw that if you added together the amount of money we spend on Medicare and Medicaid and divide that by the total number of households in all of the United States, it's an average of over $10,000 from every household in America to fund Medicare and Medicaid. When I saw that, I was thinking, my goodness, all that government, all that we're paying for, we're better off if we said to every household that has people on Medicare, Medicaid, or even SCHIP, here's $3,500 cash from the federal government in a health savings account you control with a debit card and we will buy you private insurance that's catastrophic care to cover everything above that. You don't have to buy any more supplemental coverage or wraparound coverage. And I know that scares AARP because they make a lot of money off that supplemental insurance. But this will help seniors and you give them a choice. You want to keep having Medicare? You want to keep having Medicaid? Or do you want us to give you cash you control and get the insurance company and the government out between you and your doctor? And I think people, when you give them that voluntary choice, they will make the choices that will save us from bankruptcy that Medicare is driving us to. Now, now